a quick vid video. It's uh, talking about uh, patterns in numbers, but how they will connect to harmonic numbers. And it's just uh, in school would have been they would have taught you binomial theorem. You would have learned that, and and then it sort of gets forgotten. But it's about the sort of beauty in the way that sort of numbers work together, but especially how they work across in different dimensions. And I just sort of show you like a visualization the numbers but also have a sort of form of pattern and we start well with the number one one to the first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line across which is the first dimension so we, we have one to the first and two to the first three to the first and four to and I'll put in five for now so one two three four five uh, there are co uh, columns so at, at a row this is the second dimension so one to the second. Now, you know, two squared, two times two is four. That would be the, uh, you can work that out, but I want to talk about patterns, and so I'm going to begin from the very start. And uh, Here we should have the number four. We know what's going to be there, but if, let's just note that one squared is one, one and two, these happen to add up to four. So, yeah, okay, maybe it's just a fluke. Um, next one, we'll say we know that 3 squared would be 9. All right, so 4 plus 2 plus 3. Let's see. Add these three numbers together, and it gives us a square there. So, yeah, now we know that's 9 or 3 squared. Uh, as it carry on, so 4 squared, 16. 9 plus 3 plus 4, 16. And again, 5 squared, 25, 16 plus 4 plus 5 equals 25 or, or 5 squared. So what I'm... So it's like a, between the first dimension and, and the second dimension, this being 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. And uh, let's look how, now we go a little bit deep, we go to the third dimension. So. 1 to the 3rd, it's all in square, so um, 1, 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 cubed is 1, 4, 1 plus 1 plus 4, that equals 6, but 2 cubed, 2 times 2, that should be 8, so what we want here is a number 8, but what happens is that we're um, too short, alright? No, it doesn't work out, so I'm just going to we add them together. We're too short now. We go to the next one now. I, I know this would be a, a an eight, so eight plus four uh, plus nine is twenty-one. Three cubed, twenty-seven should be here. Is what happens is we're uh, six short. Now, before I go any further, the number we want here is eight, and we're too short of that. 1 plus 1 plus 4 equals 6. We want an 8. All right, we're on the first and the second column, so happen that, okay, 1 times 2. So we have a 2 here if we multiply 1 times 2, which happens to be the, the missing margin to give us our 8. Now, the second one over was minus 6. We're, we were 6 short of the target number being 27. These add up to 21. We were 6 short in second and third column. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so now, again, we've now we've got our 27, our 3 cubed. And it comes through this uh, gap. The next one, uh, 4 cubed, would be 64. Uh, 16 plus uh, 27 uh, plus 9 would be a second. 52. Okay, it's easy enough to work out with what would be the gap. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. These three together are 12 short of 64 or 4 cubed and on and on and on it will go so that the gap from here would be 24 times 5. Right, so the first and the second dimension worked quite fine. 
but the second to the third required a little key to get us there and that key originated from the column we were doing. So we multiply the column to find the missing key. The next step would be the fourth dimension and one to the, um, the number we'd be looking for here is 16 and these three do not add up to 16 and I'll leave that up to you. Thank you.